What's up everybody? My thought today has been all day. It's been on forward motion. Um, I was watching Alex ride this morning and he was, you know, working the shoulder, working the body, using his hands and his legs the way we all do. And he was doing the right thing and it's all good. But but sometimes we, we, uh, we get into this vicious circle of just, you know, pull and release and pulling and release on our horses without, and forget a little bit that, you know that to go someplace and, and and have a destination in mind a goal in mind i think that that is the difference between training a reining horse and 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 uh, and a cow horse for instance and and every time that i'm around cow horses and cow horse riders i mean when i came back from the world's greatest horseman spent a couple of days there when i came back from there i mean i wasn't worried about you know about so much about collection rather than where I want to go and, 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 and how I'm going to get there. And that's made a big difference in my horses. But I mean, I do, I do, you know, you know, spend a lot of time in working and developing my horses physically so that, you know, not only they get there and, uh, but I want them to get there, uh, you know, in the fanciest, most effective way possible. And so I think that's just part of the training. Anyways, <clears throat> with that said, always be a quarter or half a circle ahead of your horses when you're you know when you're circling or training the lead change or training whatever always be ahead of your horse and have a destination where are you going to be and if you always have that picture in your mind of where you're going to be a quarter circle from now then you're sort of chasing something and it's gonna make you make you do automatically the right thing with your body uh, second uh, is is whenever I, I I see people or I'm teaching somebody uh, and and they're working the, the horse's position in the circle for example and i say okay so now do a lead change when all of a sudden when i ask them to do a lead change all of a sudden then there's there's an increase in use of their leg and seat and and everything everything changes all of a sudden they're riding they're pushing the horse forward and i tell them i said see what you're doing right there this is what you should be doing every stride when you're riding your horse because the rest of the time you just wasted your time pretty much and just you know uh, 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 pulling in their face and without really doing the right thing with your body so i always remind uh, uh my help whenever he's riding around or remind myself when i'm riding around and circling i'm like okay well as soon as i have my horse in the position that i want then i do something with it if and if i struggle to get him exactly where i want to do the effort to to give me his body in the circle then i i get out of the circle and i make a straight line or i prepare or set up to make a lead change even if I, my horse isn't ready to make it and even if i'm not going to do a lead change i try to set him up for it and all of a sudden that makes me do the right thing with my seat my leg and my hands all at the same time and this is a way a good way to get out of that vicious circle of just pulling and release on your horses without really any general purpose other than just having a good position in the circle uh, i think that if you have a you know a destination a place to go you know ahead where you're going to be uh, and you have that picture clear in your mind and and you use your leg and your seat every stride as if you were about to change lead everything's going to change pretty quickly in how your horse move and how they carry themselves hope this helps have a good day cheers